Dad! Dad, the door is jammed again. Hello, Dad! Why isn't anyone replying? Where did this come from? Tread carefully, cause you are now under lock and key. Here you shall uncover what you cannot see. 5 plus 1 makes 6 in a team. So if you dare to dream, you'll find things may not be as they seem. Okay, that's weird. Where did this come from? Is it some kind of college thing? I really need to start paying more attention in class. Ooh. Where's Mr. Mera? I only know one person who could have named their cat something so ridiculous. Is this Dhru? Wait, yes, yes. Have you seen him? He's like this brown, tabby little thing, can't fend for himself. Wait. Where are these voices coming from? Wait, who are you? Is this some kind of prank? Because it's... Has someone broken into my house again? Are you a ghost? Hello, can you use your single brain cell to focus on the situation at hand? Oh. Ahana, is that you? Okay, right. I'm stuck inside my room talking to disembodied voices of my college classmates. No biggie. No biggie. Are you serious? We're literally all stuck here and <laughs> you're not freaking out. Is, is this a joke? What is happening around here? Well, I'm glad you're putting those observational skills to use. Perhaps direct them to getting us out of here. So, you're locked in too? Whoa, what was that? Oh, that's just a weird. That adds up. Sorry, can't help falling for you, man. Oh, I love you too, buddy. And I thought I was the token queer here. Hey, roll call. How many queers? One in six seems a bit homophobic. Actually, queerness is very difficult to quantify. Guys, as important as this discussion about representation is, we're in a bit of a situation here, so if we could all just... Welcome. Listen carefully to these rules, for they will not be repeated. Rule number one. You must solve six riddles together in order to escape. Rule number two. You must talk together to solve these riddles. Rule number three, you must not try to leave by any other means. Rule number four, beware, three strikes and you're in for an adventure far more dangerous than this. Lastly, do not forget to have fun. Please note, you already have one strike. Excuse me? What is happening right now? Is anyone else actually a little, I don't know, scared? How do we already have one strike? What did you guys do? Oh man, all I've done is fall to my back. I mean, does that account for a strike? Funny guy. Maybe it's because Dhruv tried to open his door. Are they really this strict with their rules? Oh God. Oh God. What if I never get to see Mr. Mera again? I didn't even get to say goodbye. This is all my fault. I'm gonna die, and my friends are never gonna be able to see my hook step to Dante Disco. <sighs> I know I'm saying this, but don't be so dramatic. Anyway, we have two strikes left. We will get out of here. We have to. So let's just calm down and focus. Ah. <sighs> Ah, 
are you updating your fans right now clearly your image is your greatest priority you wouldn't know the importance of keeping up a reputation anyway what but they have a great reputation i mean all the teachers love them oh you naive little child hey i am not a kid maybe we could search for some clues i mean there must be something to solve right the letter said we should find something that is hidden from the plain sight so maybe we should do that thank you at least someone's trying to come up with a plan oh yeah uh we need to get out of here i can't be late to college ah uh, yes the princess must return to her preparation i mean who else will continue her family's legacy if destroying the environment if she is stuck here oh yeah half of her family is getting into electrical utilities though they should consider solar instead i mean it's far more efficient i mean it's not like i can control what they do and if i'm being honest um i don't want to be a part of it anyways uh guys something just fell into my room it looks like a letter what does it say alone at the top losing touch with yourself all your dreams and goals collect dust on the shelf live your life instead of living it in your head search for the missing piece of you waiting to be read this is ridiculous why does this have to be so vague you know what this right here is why i like math at least it doesn't talk in circles it definitely does there's a whole chapter in maths to prove it in fact unlike a circle you're being very edgy right now hey man just have a pie to calm down really riddles what is this a treasure hunt why does everything rhyme all right so the note is personal um maybe try finding something that you had as a child something that instantly comes to your mind um l- let me think maybe i should search for it There's nothing. Oh, this is pointless. Give me an equation any day and I'll solve it right away. But this this is not what I signed up for. Okay, not princess. Look at it this way. What would you do if you could choose differently? <laughs> Why would I want to think about that? It's not like I have a choice. You always have a choice. ignore mr inspirational poster and actually give it a thought well i like music i mean it's a useless career and i'm certainly not in the business to disappoint my parents what do you mean disappoint and your parents are like super rich it's not like you have to worry about providing for yourself you have that privilege no My parents' expectations for me are just way too high. Anyways, I'll I'll keep looking. Why is this dairy glowing? What do you mean it's glowing? Is it like those lightsabers in Star Wars? That would be cool. 
You're a Star Wars fan? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Do you drive a Toyota? Huh? 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 What diary is it? Is it like a school thing? Has Academy of finally come back to haunt you? No, it's just an old diary. Well, things were different back then. My parents led me to believe that I could be anyone I wanted to be. Guys, maybe the glowing means we figured it out. No, I feel like that would be way too easy for this. This has to be a little more complicated. Maybe it's a clue, though. I mean, I mean, what's written in it? Just some old songs I wrote. Man, I was a silly kid with silly dreams. Aren't you living the dream right now? You're popular and rich. Suffering from success, are we? Hey, I may be popular, but I'm surrounded by people who don't actually know me. Hey, but what about your family? Do they know you well? Oh, <laughs> they haven't bothered to try. Your parents may be clouded by their worries for you, but I'm sure they want you to be happy and enjoy what you do. I wouldn't be so sure about it. They're so busy with their business. It's like they've forgotten I exist. Either way, if music is what makes you happy, then you shouldn't just give it up. Hmm. Maybe you're right. I should fight for it. I mean, there's no harm in trying, right? Congratulations, you have solved your first trigger. Huh? Even the answers are vague. This is barbaric. But how did you solve it? Did it solve itself? There doesn't seem to be a straight answer to the riddle according to me, but there must be something. Hey, it's 2021. Why are we only still looking for straight answers? Love is love. Anyway. Maybe we spent too much time on it and the riddle solved itself. That's the dumbest logic I've heard. We must have said something. I think we should solve more of these riddles, you know, to get the hang of things and keep moving forward. True. At least we know we'll get out of here eventually. Only five more riddles to go. <laughs> well, um... Well, that felt strangely cathartic. Well, honestly, I'm just glad to know that I don't have to spend an eternity with you idiots out there. Guys! Knock knock. Dude, seriously? Right now? Who is that? My 10 year old sister is more mature than you guys. Water. Water who? What are you doing making jokes right now? Don't you have better things to do? Well, I'm just going to pretend that I did not hear that. Ah, uh, where's this next riddle? I want to get out of here. I don't know about you, but I'm quite enjoying this. I mean, a self care day with zero responsibilities and and enjoying with my new friends. This is my version of paradise. Friends? My standards are a little higher than that, sorry. Let's move it along, please. This isn't a vacation. I have places to be. Really? Like where? Getting married by the this far? Oh my god, can you please just get off her back? I wouldn't waste that much time or money on myself anyway. That sounds healthy. Yes, it's my turn for group therapy. Loud and self-made, the family jewel. Kind to others, but to your own dreams cruel. Clasp them tightly with all your fervor, for they don't deserve to be on the back burner. What are we, the monarchy? Again with the rhymes. And the vague riddles. No. I actually like the way girls. Since you're going forward with the going those group therapy, you might as well go with the flow. So, aha now. What's your secret dream? I'd like to be able to watch Project Runway reruns all night without feeling like death in the morning. Oh right! You're into fashion. I remember you designed our costumes for the play last year. Hey, I really like the costume you made for my detective agent, Jordan. Oh, you can really dance. He went. He went. I mean, I did, but who cares? I just stepped in because you 
definitely needed the help. Hey, I'll have you know, I have a great fashion sense. If you could see me right now, you'd be amazed. Oh yeah, I'm sure you're revolutionizing fashion one step at a time. Well, what do you mean it's unimportant? Weren't you the one who told me, fight for your dream? What's stopping you then? I don't know. I guess it's easy to lose focus on your dreams when you're so preoccupied with responsibilities all the time. But whatever. Just let's solve this dumb riddle. I don't have time for these futile conversations. Okay, okay. Chill. Chill. Going by the riddle, I'd say you're looking for something that you've probably made yourself. Uh, where do you stash all of it? Right. That makes sense. It's all just in this one box on my table. I think I know where to find it. It's this box right here. It just has a few earrings and a bracelet I made a really long time ago. I guess this is the object. Looks like you're gonna have to continue these futile conversations. Lucky me. This is a waste. It's not like I have all the time in the world for this. What do you mean you don't have time? I have to take care of my little sister. Mom's at work all day, so it's on me to make sure she's okay. That's a lot to handle for a 19 year old. You've been parentified. No. It's not like that, and I don't know, even if it is, she's doing everything she can to provide for us. It's not her fault. Don't you think you need to do a few things to keep yourself afloat too? I mean, you're just gonna burn out. Your family doesn't need a shell of a person. Well, the group therapist is back in action, clearly. I'm just trying to help. He's right though. I mean, you deserve to focus on yourself and... Maybe rest a little. Whatever. It's not like I'm falling apart or anything. You're working really hard to get there though. Life is all about balance. <sighs> okay, enough with the nagging. I guess I can take some time for myself and start designing stuff again. If I'm being honest, I really miss it. Congratulations, you have solved your second riddle. Did it solve itself? I, I was so confused by how all of this works. Did he do something about it? What is happening around here? Actually, these riddles are no match for us. I mean, at this rate, even my brain muscles are going to be ripped. Well, if you really, if you really, really, really want to exercise your brain, math is the best workout. Oh, so that's why your head is so big. Wait! Guys, I think the riddle got solved because- Ahana, shh! Abhir has something very important to say. I'm sorry, what was, it, what was I talking about? Are you kidding? I thought you were gonna say something really cool. Oh, right, 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 right. So, what if- the riddle solves itself once we reach an understanding within ourselves. You know, like, Hanidhi said she'd fight for her dreams and Hana said she'd make time for herself in the future. Huh. That actually makes sense. Didn't know you had it in you to form a coherent thought. You might be right. Yeah, I think we're getting a hang of it. We're totally unstoppable. We should have a team name. Only four more riddles to go, guys. We got this. Did you get possessed by a motivational speaker? You're like the most pessimistic person I know. Well, desperate times call for desperate measures. All of us are in the gutter, yet some of us are looking at the stars. Uh, so dramatic. What are you, a thespian? I actually like being a thespian. But my friends think I'm wasting my time with it. They say it ruins my image. I mean... Watch out guys, we have another Troy Bolton among us. Guys, 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 don't do this to him. 
We're all in this together. Oh, Drew, I don't know why you hang out with them anyway. Knock, knock. Ugh, not again. Who's there? A letter. A letter who? A letter from an unknown entity to you. Mm. I didn't get any letter though. <laughs> yeah, right. I did. Ignoring the bad knock knock joke, maybe next time just tell us as soon as the riddle. Ah, never mind. What's the riddle? So full of love, yet hungry for acceptance. It's good to be kind, to have emotions. It's served you and others and made you whole. Look for an old memory. It's food for the soul. Hey, it's finally the therapist's turn. Got any tokens of appreciation lying around here? Well, Maya may be looking at the stars, but your head is definitely in the gutter. Oh God. Oh, it's Mr. Mara, favorite boy. Thank you for helping me to distribute food in the neighborhood. You're always welcome to stop by for a meal and some company. Love, your building garden. Oof. It's really ruining your reputation there, tough guy. If you ask me, it's it's a pretty sweet gesture. Clearly you do have tokens of appreciation. <gasps> You'll scandalize Mr. Mehra. Hey, come on. Mr. Mehra's a ladies' man in the house. Isn't your dad married? Dude, have you been thinking Mr. Mehra is his dad this entire time? Yes. I have no words. There's no coming back from that one, buddy. Hey guys, can we focus here? Dhruv, you've been really quiet. Oh, Alright. Why are you so worried about this? I don't know. I always thought it wasn't normal for me to be the way I am. Don't worry. Normal is a social construct. I mean, <laughs> look at me. And if anyone says otherwise, they can uh, talk to these hands. Yeah, I could probably cover up a murder. Hypothetically speaking, of course. You know, I admire you for that, but it's really hard for me to be like that. I know it's easier said than done, but you gotta start somewhere, right? I agree. I mean, ever since you've been here, you seem like the kind of guy who's comfortable in, you know, his own skin. I don't know why you let, you let them get to you, man. Do you really mean that? Yes, yes. You're a nice guy, Dhruv. You may be a little slow sometimes, but you more than make up for it by being the kind, thoughtful person that you are. I don't think anyone's ever been that nice to me before. I really appreciate it, guys. And honestly, I think I should really start looking for some real friends. Hey, I'm up for grabs. Any volunteers? I volunteer as tribute. Congratulations, you have solved your third riddle. The officer stands by the way. I mean, covering up a murder isn't nearly as hard as it seems. I doubt you'd be much used to us in jail. I can't go a day without your pep talks. Why are we even talking about jail? Do you know how filthy those places are? No, no. Jails aren't that bad. Do you know some prisons in Brazil offer a chance to reduce a sentence by four days if you read a book and write a report on it? I mean, school assignments much? Schools are better than prison anyway. Hey, my school life wasn't that bad after all. I mean, group assignments were always a breeze. I was hardly ever given any work. I mean, still don't know why. Group assignments suck. I'd rather just do it on my own. Yes, it's my time to shine. Siblings in nature, great burdens they bear. Been with you the longest, there is a history you share. Prone to be full all day, yet empty when they go to rest. Oh my god! Oh my god! How are you gonna contact your sibling from here? What do you mean? Why would they need to contact their brother? How do you even know they have a brother? 
the little sass siblings. I know you guys think I'm the dumb one here, but come on, this was kind of obvious. First of all, I don't have a brother. Second of all, this is so overdramatic. Well, maybe you're the one being overdramatic. What's that supposed to mean? No, no, it's just an observation I made. Oi, people, focus. Okay, we have to think of things that are full all day yet empty when they go to rest. Oh, oh, do they mean like bathrooms? Oh, 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 or bladders? <laughs> what? No, you're supposed to be the smart one, Abir. Hey, genius. Did it ever occur to you that I'm capable of making jokes? Oh, maybe it's socks. Nobody's sentimentally attached to a pair of socks, Nidhi. Well, there was this pair of shoes that I've had since I was really little, but what does that have to do with anything? Oh, are you talking about those worn out shoes you wear every day? I only notice because they never seem to match your outfits. You should really look into that. Ugh. Okay. Well, they're just a neat pair of shoes I bought on one of my trips. Sue me. Now that the object's been identified and the sob story established, can we please move on? Don't want to hold the limelight too much. Warning. Strike two. Please tread carefully. Guys, I think it's time to take this seriously because they're not playing around. Kai, stop deflecting. Kai, your individual actions affect all of us. I agree we do not know how we got here, but these riddles are our only way out. So can you please, please just cooperate? I'm just spitballing here, but maybe the riddle only gets solved once you actually solve an internal conflict. You aren't fooling anyone here. Yeah? Oh God, didn't they say we had only three strikes? What happens if we run out? Okay, I, I genuinely don't even want to find out. Ugh. Okay, whatever. Let's actually solve this thing. This was like the first gift my parents ever gave me and I never really wanted to ask anyone. ones. Wear it till you dare it, right? You can't get through life thinking of yourself as a burden, Kai. I know you think it makes you look weak and that you have a reputation to uphold. But sometimes it's necessary to rely on others. By the way, if it helps, we can always motivate you with violence. Maybe it's a little too extreme, but, but she's right. Dependence starts from the moment you're born and lasts till death. This is where I insert a dumb yet empathetic comment. I guess it's time to dispose of these shoes then, huh? Hey, Ahana, how would you like to give me a fashion makeover? God knows I need it, right? Always ready to help the needy. Oh, oh, oh God, no. <laughs> it was a joke. I thought you'd have caught on to my humor by now. Congratulations, you have solved your fourth riddle. <laughs> Look at you guys becoming BFFs already. Guess the pseudo alternative wasn't that bad after all. Cut it out already. This is just surface level friendship. I mean, I bet these two wouldn't even acknowledge each other the second we got out of here. Oh, someone's in a snappy mood. What side of the bed did you wake up on this morning? It's nothing, honestly. I, I just feel that friendship isn't a term that should be thrown around so casually. Why do you always look at the worst of people? Maybe this is genuine. I highly doubt that. You really do have impeccable timing, don't you? It costs nothing but is worth everything. Hey man, the least you can do is read this out dramatically. Is it not blatantly obvious that I'm being held here against my own will? Wait, let me show you how it's done. <clears throat> it costs everything but is worth nothing. May just last forever. Have you thought of that? Congrats on completely messing up the riddle, bud. And Maya, show some emotion. It'll be good for you, trust me. Nice try, guys. 
It costs nothing but is worth everything. Could last a lifetime, did you ever think? A symbol of something that is strong and everlasting. Something you're holding on to. Perhaps they wouldn't notice in passing. Hey, I think I've heard the eagle is a symbol of strength. Do you think you have a pet eagle in there somewhere? Oh, oh wait, he could be friends with Mr. Mera. Oh my god. Yes. Because that is quite possibly the only logical conclusion one can derive from this. So, is that a no for the eagle? What costs nothing but is worth everything? Some sort of relationship? Oh, look who's stepping up. Oh, I didn't mean to quarrel with you. Okay, now what the hell is a quarrel? Is it some kind of squirrel? Oh man, come on. I mean, I mean that's stupid all the time. I mean... There has to be an off button to this thing. Uh, do you think a friendship band suits the description? Because I've had this bracelet for a few years. It's been lying around. Why is it just lying around? I'm sure there's a story to it. Oh, this is just something an old friend once gave me. Um, no ramen. Clearly, it does mean something if you're being so deflective about it. We were friends and now we're not. Clearly, all friendships don't last a lifetime, but it's no big deal. If it's no big deal, then why don't you just get rid of the bracelet? No use holding on to the past. You know what? I might just... It's pulling me down anyway, so... Congratulations, you have solved your fifth riddle. So, how did it feel? Liberating? Relieving? Earth shattering? I don't think it was that dramatic, but uh, it would feel good to move on. Let it go, let it go, turn away and slam the door. You know, Abir, you don't always have to lighten up the situation. Sometimes you can just let the feeling for a while. Whoa! I just thought it was funny. I mean, can I not make jokes anymore? I mean, that's kind of the point. You don't need to find humor everywhere. How will you ever take things seriously? You don't need to take everything seriously. I mean, life's about having fun and living in the moment. Might as well make the best out of it. Well, I don't think you can use humor everywhere. It's too much of one emotion. You're bound to run out. Well, you'll be glad to know that my book of knock-knock jokes still has a lot of pages left. I mean, I'm good for a lifetime. Hey, knock-knock. Oh, I've been waiting for this one. Who's there? A strawberry shortcake. Cut it out, guys. Isn't this a proper time for the letter to fall? Oh, you're right. Do you think they might have forgotten? Well, clearly my coping mechanism is not a problem considering a letter hasn't fallen. Right, I, I, I didn't see the letter. Major issue, guys. The last riddle, but first to be won. People work hard for it, you wanted none. Made of something, buried in a treasure chest. You seem to hide with it, not letting yourself be your best. Why do you do it? Do what? Deflect. I don't know what you're talking about. I agree. You're definitely a smart guy. But somehow, you seem almost embarrassed of it. Okay, well, give him a break, maybe. We've all had a tough day. <laughs> is it just, is it just me? Is it kind of getting stuffy now? I'm gonna go crack open the windows. <laughs> but no, what's wrong with you? We'll all get a third strike. Guys, if anything happens to me, please tell Mr. Mera I love him. If you're trapped here, we will be too genius. I thought I was here for a good time, not a long time. I mean, do I really need to have an existential crisis right now? Not us. Just you, actually. We're all done for the day. Really? Even he's making valid points at this moment. You know, I really think that I'm the catalyst to your character change, buddy. Quit it, Abir. You know it's a problem. Fine. Maybe. Just... Maybe it's a teensy tiny problem. 
Oh. Is this what facing our demons feels like? Close enough. What do you think the riddle is about? Do you have anything precious in your room? Maybe jewelry or maybe a trophy. The closest thing I have to in my room to something precious is uh, this medal that I use as a coaster. I mean, it's quite cool and useful, isn't it? Why are you using it as a coaster? Shouldn't you be considering a medal as some sort of an achievement? Yeah, but achievements aren't going to make you friends now, are they? Oh God, this was too complicated for my understanding. Just. Go ahead and dumb it down a little for me, please. You gotta give yourself more credit, buddy. You really do. So should you. I guess what I meant to say was that uh, academic validation cannot substitute friendship. I mean, I can be as smart and pretentious as I want to be, but where's that gonna get me at the end of the day? Well, you're smart and pretentious right now, but we still like you. I guess that's some progress. You do. You're tolerable. That's the highest of compliments I can give you. I'll take what I can get. <laughs> but I suppose you're right. I don't need to act silly so that people like me. I mean, I, c I can be myself and I guess people still like me. Bro, we're like Linda and Heather. Best, Best friends. friends! I would definitely try to forget you just said that. Hey, that turned out to be pretty wholesome, right? Congratulations, you have solved your sixth and final riddle. Thank you for playing. So wait, are you kidding? Is that it? Well, we solved the six riddles and they didn't ask us to do anything beyond that, so... Do we get to go home now? Is there some sort of button we have to press to let them know? Is it just me? Or did someone else think this was a little anticlimactic? What if it ends with conversation? Oh, yellow.